Hey, this is Malcolm341. In this video, we're going to look at a free update to the Mirren Instance Toolbox. This is one of the tools I use most when I'm modeling, and now it's even better, so let's check it out. Okay, so if you're not familiar with the tool, it's uh, the mirror icon here. Click it, and it'll launch this little toolbox for you here. And what it does is it's just a really quick way to uh, mirror or mirror with instance uh, any geometry that you have. So I've got my piece of geometry here. It doesn't matter. Actually, I'm just going to delete this. Just kill that there. And it doesn't matter where the object is in the world, which is cool. And what does matter is where the pivot is. So I'm just going to move the pivot here, let's say. And that's the access that it's going to use to do the mirroring from. So if you hold D on the keyboard and V on the keyboard at the same time, and then just click the middle, hold the middle mouse button down and drag it around, that will snap the pivot to whatever the closest vert is. So you can quickly change the pivot point. So I'm going to snap it to the corner there. And then I'm going to come over here and you'll note that the buttons are actually color coded for which access. So uh, I find it really fast to just be able to be like, oh, it's red, it's red. So we're going to mirror along red, boom, along X. So you've got a mirror there. Snap the pivot down to here. And same thing, you can do multiple at the same time. Grab those guys and hit uh, Y, green, and that'll mirror it down there. And then same thing, just grab the pivots here, snap them wherever, whatever you want to mirror the axis on, and then just hit uh, Z, blue. And then you've got your fully mirrored out model. So I just find this uh, super fast. And when I'm doing modeling, I don't uh, often like to kind of model like that. I like to model uh, with instances. So what you can do here is when you do your mirror geometry, if you turn this tick box on here that says instance, it'll mirror it and create an instance. So we'll go along red again. And then if you select a vert here, you'll notice that it's instanced over there as well. So this makes it really fast to uh, do your model in quarters. So if you go again here along Y, same thing, mirror it down there. These guys are all instance as well. So you can quickly build out just a quarter of your model and then work on a quarter of it and see it kind of update the whole model. And then another handy thing is after you've made all the instances, but maybe you want to just modify uh, this one part to be different, is you can actually just come in here and you can click the instance to object button and that'll convert whatever you have selected back into a regular object. So you'll see when I grab the vert here, it's now unique. And so I can make custom edits there, but these guys are all still instances. So if you just want to grab everything and convert it back, you just grab it all and say instance to object. And then you come in here and everything is unique again, no more instancing. The other nice thing is if you mess up your model like I just did there, but you've already mirrored it all around, you can just quickly delete that piece, snap the pivot back there, and then just go mirror X again, and you're back to where you started. And then finally, this button here, the mirror geometry, that just brings up the Maya default uh, mirror options box, which I find super clunky and slow. And I never use this thing. That's actually why I wrote my own tools, because when they updated this tool to be this, I just found it so time consuming to do anything with mirroring. So I came up with this little toolbox. OK, so let me just quickly, I'm going to turn instancing on and I'm going to mirror along blue. And then I'm going to grab all these guys, snap their pivot down there, and go along Y. And then we've got that. These guys are all instances. So I can just grab this one part here and actually just make an edit that I wanted to do. Make that less obtrusive. Cool, that looks better. So let's check out the uh, new updates that I made to the tool. So I'm just going to go through here and just delete these guys. We don't need them anymore. Delete all that stuff. OK, cool. So we've got our one chunk of our model left here. I'm going to snap the pivot here because we're going to mirror along X again. So the first new thing that I added was the merge verts tick box here. And so what this does is it's going to do the mirror, flip it over to the side. And if it finds an exact coincidental vert sitting on top of one another, it's going to merge the verts and combine the objects. So this can be handy instead of having to mirror all your stuff and then combine it, and then merge the verts, and then do whatever, weld it. Uh, this can just do it all for you in one step. So when I click along X here with this tick box turned on, watch what happens. Click it, and I get the mirror, but the coincidental verts are welded. So it's ready for basically your final game or geometry or whatever. So it's just going to weld that line down the center. And if you happen to have instance left on because you like uh, doing the instance thing, here, instancing that stuff. Even if you have that 
ticked on, once you tick the merge verts uh, tick box, it's going to kind of override that because you can't merge verts on an instance. So even though these are both turned on and you click along X, it's going to combine and weld those into a second object. I'm just going to open up the outliner here and you can see it's only created one object, which is super handy to keep your scene clean and organized. And then the other new feature, I'm just going to turn that guy off there. So the other new feature, let's say we come in here and we mirror these guys, snap their pivot down, mirror them, whoops, wrong axes, mirror those guys again. And we've got a bunch of instances now, four instances. So cool, that's how I like the model and uh, that's how I get all my stuff done. But uh, what I'll want to do afterwards is like, cool, I'm done modeling. And then it's like, oh, I need to convert them out of being an instance, and then I need to run the combine on it, and then I need to merge all the verts to get rid of any coincidentals. So I just put that all into one button. So you just select all of this stuff here. It's all still instances. And grab it all here, and you just click this magic button, the combine slash merge. Click it, and what it's going to do, let's open up the outliner again, it's going to combine all those four meshes into one unique mesh, and it's going to weld all of the coincidental verts. So this saves a ton of time. You don't have to like go in and I was finding I was always coming over here and I was like, combine and then weld and the whatever. So uh, now you can just like grab all your stuff and click it and boom, it's all done for you. The merge combine button also has a very low tolerance for the coincidental verts because I didn't want to start collapsing the model accidentally on people. So. Let's just snap the pivot down there. Let's mirror it along Y. And then same thing along X. So we've got a symmetrical model here. And uh, these guys are all instances. So what I wanted to show you is, let me just grab these verts here. And move them through each other so they're not exactly coincidental. These guys are all uh, still on top of each other. This one's still on top of each other. But I'll just show you what happens when you grab all of these and you click the combine merge. You can see I've got four meshes there. You click it, get the one mesh, it's all combined, but it's not going to weld these together because I didn't want to mess up anyone's modeling. If the verts aren't right on top of each other and it's not perfectly symmetrical, then uh, it's just going to leave those alone. So you can see this guy welded and all of these guys welded and these ones are not on top of each other, uh, so they don't weld. If you've already purchased the full script pack or the single script, this will be a free update. So you just need to download it again to get the new stuff. If you haven't purchased the script yet, you can grab the script by itself or you can get it in the full script pack. So take your pick. Thanks for watching, everybody. Without viewers like you, this channel would not be possible. If you like this video, please purchase something from the online store. Each purchase goes towards creating more video content and keeps the channel ad-free. See you next time. Have a radical day.